Welcome students. Let us see a very interesting question from the chapter property. Question has been taken from NCRT book of standard 12. Here question is, determine probability of E condition to F when two coins are tossed once. Means two coins are tossed together. Where event E contains no tail APS and F is an event where no head APS then we have to find out probability of E conditional to F. In the previous this, uh, videos also, we have discussed this formula several times for evaluating the probability of E conditional to F. So probability of E conditional to F is equal to probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F. So first of all, we need to know about simple space and events E and F. So what will be sample space here? What is sample space? Sample space is a collection, is a set of all the possible outcomes. So here two coins are tossed together. So their elements will be head head, H H, means heads appear in both the coins, then maybe head tail, maybe tail head, or maybe tail tail. These are maximum options, four options for this sample space. So here we are getting ns, this is equal to four. ns means number of elements in this sample space. Next, now let us see event E. Here, no tail appears. It means event E is having elements H, H only. So here NE is equal to 1. And what about F? No head APS. So F is, this will be ET only since no head APS here. So here NF, this is equal to 1. And what will be the value of probability of F? Probability of F will be, formula will be NF divided by NS. Here NF is 1 and NS is 4. So this is the probability of F, PF. Here we need to find out probability of E intersection F also. So let us first of all find out E intersection F. In these two events E and F no element is common. So this is just empty set, no element is common. So therefore number of elements in E intersection F, this is equal to 0. So, therefore, probability of E intersection F, this is equal to number of elements in E intersection F divided by NS, this is equal to 0 by 4, this is equal to 0. Now, we can evaluate this P probability of E condition to F very easily since we are having value of P intersection F here 0 as well as we are having probability of F also 1 by 4. So therefore probability of E condition to F this is equal to probability of E intersection F divided by probability of F so this is equal to 0 divided by 1 by 4 so this is equal to 0 so this is the answer okay hope you have got this solution acha ha idhar video bhi ban raha hai idhar video bhi ban raha hai gana na sab chala gaya isi mein So, students hope you have got the solution here very easily. Uh, solution is very simple, but this is very important question. Okay, so remain in touch with these videos and get maximum benefit of it. And share these videos with your, some, your friends also. And if you are really enjoying these videos, your likes are most welcome. And you find any difficulty, any problem, or you want to give any suggestion, please write in the comment box. Thank you very much. Wish you all the best.